and I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be speaking with you and to be back on this platform with you, um, Technovation. Technovation is actually something like just being here and seeing all of you reminds me what it feels like to participate in Technovation, which for me was about two to three years ago um, in 2019, where my team and I um, from Nigeria actually created an app. Um, and the funny thing about this story is in 2018, my mom actually sent me the link to the Technovation um, website to, to sign up. And I chickened out. I was like, I'm not ready. I don't know how to code. I don't know how to do this. But then in 2019, she sent it again. I was like, okay, I'm going to try. Um, and at the time, there was no one in my school who outrightly proclaimed an interest in technology. Like, I didn't know anybody who liked tech. Nobody ever talked about tech, especially the girls. Um, I had to make the first move. I went out of my comfort zone and I started asking around and just talking to people, um, trying to find out what people really cared about. And that's something I'm sure many of you in this room had to do to form your teams. Definitely wasn't an easy process. Um, but then we did form our team and, and you can probably see the first picture on this slide, like the top picture was one of our first ideation meetings. We scrapped so many, so many ideas during a stressful time because we we're balancing it with school, which a lot of you also had to do. And we were eventually able to prototype an app that targeted obstructive parking in Lagos. Um, which is a big problem in highly populated areas like in Nigeria. And I think what was most meaningful for, meaningful for me during my student journey and taking part in tech innovation was doing something outside of school that I actually cared about. Like I didn't feel boxed into textbooks and courses and the classes I was taking. I got to be in rooms with some of the most innovative young people in Lagos, in Nigeria. And that was insane for me. And especially just like the culmination of it all and us eventually becoming um, regional winners for Africa, which we did not expect to, to even attain was, it was powerful. Um, so after that first year of being part of Tech Innovation from 2019 to 2020, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to keep on going. And I became a student ambassador. I started to pay it forward. Um, and being a student ambassador, again, was such a meaningful experience. Something I did, and I really hope you guys are able to do, is we were just able to leverage the network of powerful alumni that Technovation has, past and present, like through LinkedIn, through Instagram. I reached out to people from Turkey, from Brazil, from the UK, and we said we wanted to throw this thing called a coding party to kick off the Technovation season that year, which was virtual because of COVID. Um, and we were able to do that. We were able to get it co-funded. We were able to do giveaways, Instagram challenges, which was super cool. And it was just like me trying to be innovative, working with um, Ms. Pamela, working with um, other people in the area as well. And I also got to do outreaches to schools, including my high school or secondary school that I went to in Lagos, Nigeria. And I organized a, a seasonal closing session, which was super fulfilling. Um, and just seeing how like people were, everyone or the people who attended were able to meet their deadlines and the submissions. That closing session was also very emotional for me because at the time I was getting ready to, to leave. <laughs> I was getting ready to start college and that was like the end of the season. But I also got to spend a summer teaching people how to use App Inventor. And I know a lot of a lot of you build um the apps for tech innovation on App Inventor, which is what my team used. I also started a coding club at my school, um, which was fun. <laughs> it was great. And the coding club now, um, many of the people who were in it while I was there were eventually participated in Technovation in that season and in seasons after I even left. And it was super, super fulfilling to see like people who, when I was there, were too young to even register. And like, I didn't actually know now stepping into roles as participants and them, themselves participating in Technovation is super encouraging. Um, and now I'm in college. Now I'm in America and the US. I'm actually currently in the Institute where I work and I'm working for the summer where I do research. Um, I would first like to preface this by saying, um, especially to international students, or which is a lot of you, and by international, I mean, if you're not based in the US or from the US, Technovation is such a significant bridge to the American landscape of technology. No cap, like that is facts, straight facts. Leverage it, take advantage of it. Don't be afraid to use your experiences with, within the season, your ideas, the connections you're making. LinkedIn as a stepping stone to the places that you want to go to, whether that's MIT, where I go to school, or Silicon Valley. Technovation played a huge role for me in my being here and getting here. 
when I was applying to schools and during the admissions process and like just submissions in general, the extent to which I spoke about my technovation project is insane. <laughs> during interviews that I had with admissions officers who basically like work with you um, and are the ones admitting students into these schools, I would talk about the project. I would talk about the change that we made, the impact that it had on me and the people around me. And they would always want to hear more about it. Um, I also created this thing called a maker portfolio and submitted that to a lot of schools. And during my um, Harvard admissions interview, that was one thing that he really wanted to talk about. Um, and MIT is actually not the only school that I eventually got into. I, I got into a number of schools on full scholarships here in the US. And I kid you not, I am not even exaggerating when I say that Technovation played such a huge role in that process. Um, and I also want to say that if you are thinking of like school and college, please apply to MIT. It's the best school in the world. I feel like since I got here, every, all my dreams, the things I wanted to do when I got here have been even more accessible than they've ever been. And don't you ever think that you can't get here. I thought I couldn't, but I'm here now. And now I'm actually doing research in epigenetics. I'm doing everything I wanted to do and more. And it's been even more accessible, accessible than I ever thought it would be. I just want to say that you guys have made it this far. Just to remind you, in 2022, 5,500 girls from 61 countries developed over 1,000 apps to solve community problems. And out of those 5,500, you're probably around like 100 in this room. You're part of less than 2%. Getting here was tough, but you are so much tougher. I want to say, consider volunteering to be a student ambassador. It's not a plug, I really mean it. It was such a fulfilling experience for me. And if it's something you haven't considered, please do it, please try it, it's fulfilling. Um, and also, there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You're all meant to shine. And as you let your own light shine, you unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. We're liberated from our own fear and our presence automatically liberates others. That's a quote from Marianne Williamson that I really, really love. Keep shining and unconsciously, you will allow other people around you to shine. You will give them a reason to shine. Technovation participants this past season, you identified a challenge in your community that needed improvement and you worked super hard to build a solution that would help people and the environment. Your dedication, your effort, and your ability to connect with others has gotten you to where you are today, to this Zoom room. Take a moment to recognize your accomplishments because you are now officially Technovation alumni. May you continue to grow, to connect with others, and to seek to find solutions to the world's biggest challenges. Today, right now, we look to all of you to continue to lead. Thank you guys so much.